Hello again and welcome to Pizzazz Primary Performing Arts Puppetry Lesson number four. Wow, I can't believe you've made it this far. Go you. So let's have a look at what's in store for our fourth lesson in our puppetry series. So far in our previous lessons, we have been focusing on eyeline, making it clear to the audience where your puppet is looking. We've also looked at giving life, giving our puppet the illusion of life by adding sound effects and movement. In this lesson, we're going further. One, we are going to combine eyeline and voice. Two, we're going to create a character voice that is totally different from your own. And three, you're going to hold a conversation between yourself and your puppet switching between your voice and the puppet voice. And number four, controlling the audience focus by using the switch. Now remember, you do not need a fancy puppet to be a good puppeteer. What is important is your performance, not the puppet itself. But let's try with just a sock today. So you can just grab just a plain old boring sock if you want. You can decorate that sock if it tickles your fancy. But if not, that's cool. A plain sock is fine as well. Now I am not very good at art and I'm not very good at craft. So my little puppet is, he's not looking so great. He's got some eyes and he's got like a tongue, but that's about it. I'm afraid. Oh well, he's still cute to me. So now is the time to grab a sock if you have one nearby. You can pause the video and take the time to decorate it if you like, but a plain sock is just fine too. Now, if you have no sock, no worries. You can just use your hand. You could decorate your hand if you like with textures, maybe draw on a face, or you can just use a plain hand because remember, you don't need a fancy puppet to be a good puppeteer. What's important is your performance, not the puppet. So pause the video and get yourself sassed. So we saved this for lesson four because it's actually the hardest thing to do, all right? The key to controlling focus when you have two characters on stage, a human, that's me, even though I still look like a bit of an alien right now, and my puppet. Now I have to control the audience's focus on who is talking, the puppet or me. And there's a simple trick to doing this. I mean, it sounds simple, but it takes practice to remember it, but it is easy. It just takes practice. Does that make sense? So, here is the key, guys. The key to controlling focus. Whoever is talking looks at the audience, like I am now. Whoever is talking looks at the audience. So, my puppet is not talking right now, I'm talking. So, I'm looking at the audience. The second point to controlling audience focus is that whoever is not talking has to look at the person or puppet that is talking. So right now, I'm speaking. Because I am speaking, my puppet is looking at me and I'm looking at the audience. Uh, but if my puppet decided to take over the talking, then you would have to make sure that the puppet fights the audience and the other person who is not talking faces the puppet. So this is called the switch. Because I'm talking now, the puppet is looking at me and I'm looking at the audience. Ah, uh, but now I talk and because I talk, I look at the audience and my human, that one, she has to look at me now. And this makes sure the audience knows who to focus on. Does this make sense? So that's the switch, okay? I'm talking so I face the audience. If my puppet is talking, the puppet faces the audience and I look at the puppet. And then if I go back, puppet looks at me, I face the audience. So it's switching between this and 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 this that's all it is, but it's easy to forget sometimes, so it just takes practice. So there we are. Meow. 
So now it's time to pause this video and have a go at doing the switch. Now, if you have a mirror, awesome. Do it in front of the mirror, that will help you. Or maybe you have an iPad or something where you can film yourself just to double check to see how your switch is going. Now remember, it takes practice, okay? It's a bit tricky at first. So pause the video and have a go at the switch. Going, guys how's the switch it's a really really important method just remembering the switch of the head of your head and the puppet head <laughs> okay where you go from here really depends on you and depends on your teachers and what you're after now you might choose to just keep on perfecting that switch method technique you might want to spend more time on that or you might be ready and you might say right we are ready to put the switch method into practice by doing an actual performance with my puppet if so there are two more levels that you can do in this video if you just keep on watching so the next level looks at bringing a conversation between an actor and a puppet using that switch method and then you can go to the next level beyond that which adds some real finer detail with your puppet operation so where you go from here guys well, it really depends on you. Depends where you're up to and what you prefer. So, if you want to keep practicing that switch method, that's cool. Otherwise, if you're ready to do something more, keep on watching. Okay guys, welcome to level two. With level two, you will start to create a performance with your puppet. <laughs> You and your puppet will need to hold a short conversation and you can perform it in front of your teacher or a small group of friends or maybe a whole class. It's really up to your teacher. In your performance, you need to demonstrate that you can control audience focus by using the switch. And you should also demonstrate the ability to create character through voice. You need to switch between your voice and your puppet character voice. Hi guys, how are you going? Uh, my name's Sally and this here is my friend and she's called Rosie the Dragon. Excuse me, I am not called Rosie. <laughs> she is, she is called Rosie, okay? You're called Rosie. I am not called Rosie. I'll have you know my name is Fire Breath and I am the most evil dragon that ever came on this earth. She's lying. She's actually a big wimp, okay? so. Don't even listen to her, I am not. You are, she is, she's a big wimp. So there's an example performance there. And now you're going to have some time to practice for yourself a conversation between you and your puppet using the switch method and changing between your voice and your character voice. Now you and your puppet can talk about anything you like, it's your performance. You might choose to introduce yourself, maybe talk about how you and the puppet met, or maybe tell a funny story. But remember, you can completely make it up, okay? It's completely your story. It doesn't have to be something that's true. So have a brainstorm and a think. What do you want to talk about with your puppet? Are you going to argue? Are you going to sing a song together? Are you going to talk about how you're best friends? I don't know, it's your performance. So have a think and a brainstorm of what you and your puppet could talk about.
how to check yourself before you wreck yourself, fool. Time to self-reflect. Mm-hmm. Every time you are rehearsing, you should stop regularly and self-assess. So check yourself before you wreck yourself. Check yourself, check your partner. Are you using the switch? Are you looking after the eye line of your puppet? And are you completely changing your voice when you are talking as your puppet? How's it going? Is it going all right? You doing okay? Yeah? Well, if you are doing okay, then it's time now to think about adding in some independent reaction. So independent reaction is when your puppet reacts to something that you're saying while you are speaking. And I don't stop speaking. I keep speaking even though the puppet is reacting to what I say. So for example, if I say something that the puppet agrees with, I might go, wow, my hair looks so fabulous right now. It just looks great. I think it's a really good hairstyle and I should think about keeping it this way all the time. So my puppet is reacting by a nod of the head. Maybe my puppet doesn't agree with what I'm saying. It might shake their head while I'm talking or it might show shock by opening its mouth while I'm speaking, all right? So that's called independent reaction and it makes your puppet seem more alive because some people forget about their puppet when they're talking and their puppet kind of becomes limp while they're speaking instead of realizing that you've got to treat the puppet like it's a totally different person to you and it will move and react independently to you, okay? So if I say something shocking, like I might say, you know what, I actually hate puppetry. Yeah, it's, it just sucks. I just, don't you think it's just the most boring thing ever? Well, I do, you know? So, I don't really wanna practice my puppetry anymore. So, my puppet is reacting independently from me, okay? So try adding that in. Some independent reactions you can do is nodding, shaking head, and a shocked and surprised look. Try adding that in. It's tricky, but I think you can do it. Do you reckon they can do it? Yeah? Well, I can give it a go. So feel free to give independent reaction a little bit of a go, guys. Okay, so remember the puppet reacts to something you say while you are speaking and you don't stop talking while they react. Try it, it's tricky, but if you can get it right, it really adds to your performance. Pause the video and have a go. So this is the end of this puppetry unit, you know. Now it's up to you and your teacher to decide now what you want to do. Maybe you do puppet performance, yeah? Maybe you move on to use puppets with strings. I leave it now to you and to your teachers. Yay! Maybe they make you do test performance using the switch, you know? What a good idea. I think they should do that. Maybe you film your little act, you know? Show to your friends, get famous. It's up to you anyway. Hope you like the puppetry. It's time to say goodbye now so you can try some different things from Pizzazz Performing Arts, yeah? Yeah, we hope to see more of you uh, later in some of our other performing arts lessons that we have. So this has been Puppetry. Hope you've enjoyed it. Remember, practice. Practice is what makes someone good, okay? Everyone can do it. Everyone can be a great actor. All it takes is practice. So good luck, and I hope to see you on one of our other units of work. This has been Pizzazz, Primary Performing Arts. Ta-ta! Hopefully next time you see me, I'll look a bit more normal. Yeah. Bye.